Now to women's health. For the fifth year in a row, state funding for women's health clinics has been cut, this time by $7.5 million. Six of the women's clinics have, that have provided routine checkups and cancer screenings have closed. Assemblywoman Linda Stender wrote a gloves-off editorial blistering Governor Christie for his veto of the funding measure. She joins us now. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. What exactly do these clinics provide? These clinics provide basic health care to women pap smears, breast exams, uh, full gynecological exams. So they are, for many women, their primary health care. And are these in neighborhoods that um, are not served by uh, major hospitals or yes. private doctors? They've offered access in the past to our urban communities into uh, areas that need access to affordable health care, which is something that we all understand. But they take all comers, and it's based on your income. And there is a sliding scale. And unfortunately, six of them have closed. Governor Christie has said that we just can't afford to fund these centers anymore. Now, I know they've been funded every year since 1970 until he took office, but he also took office in the middle of a budget crisis that hasn't lessened. That's just plain nonsense and it's not true. It's just not a priority of his or his administration. It was less than 1% of the budget. It was less than 1% of the budget. And when you look at it, we, we went and said to him, make a cut. If this is something about cutting, everybody's feeling the pain, you can reduce the funding. But with every dollar that you put in, it's not only about our money, it, there's a federal match. It's a nine to one match that comes back from the federal government from every dollar. So in addition to saying no to the seven and a half, that means we also lost another $63 million in federal funding. It's about when priorities. When you say federal funding, are you talking about Medicaid funding, the expansion yes. of Medicaid? Yes, because for family and women's health, there's a higher match for the women's health component. And he, he turned his back on that. We're talking about an administration that spent $12 million on an election we didn't need. His legal bills this year are comparable to what this year's worth of funding would have been. What is the cost differential between preventing disease and treating disease? Enormous, enormous, we all know that. If you can come in and get a pap smear, a screening in an early stage, you go and you get a breast exam, which costs, for the depending on your on your level, um, a range, right, of few, up to a few hundred dollars. If you catch that cancer early, you can cure it. If you wait until somebody ends up in an emergency room when they've got stage four cancer, it's tens of thousands of dollars and life-threatening. So it's ruined a life, it's ruined a family. We know that when the women are healthy in a family, the healthier family is healthier. May I also mention the husbands who the women get to the doctor? Absolutely. Um, <laughs> when he, while he did um, cut funding for women's health care, and I'm just looking at notes, Governor Christie did boost the allocation for the state's domestic violence agencies and the New Jersey Coalition for Battered Women by $1.8 million. That's a different issue. I mean, the issue of basic health care, we're also talking about access to reproductive health services. This is an ideological battle on his part, I believe. And now we're down to it. Is that what this is about? Do these services, are, among the services that are provided, does that also include pregnancy termination? Does not include pregnancy termination. It does not pay for abortions, but it does provide access to birth control and it does provide counseling to women on what their choices are. It does help women make decisions about when they should have children and, and how, how often they should have children. What's next? We are going to continue to fight this. I believe this is just uh, part of his script for running for president. It's been part of an ongoing trend of his to take steps and make moves based on what will play in Iowa rather than what will play in New Jersey. It's a disgrace. We are going to continue to fight because we've lost access, we've lost funding, we've lost health care for women, and this is a fight worth fighting that I continue to fight. Thanks for being with us today, Assemblywoman Linda Stender. Thank you very much.